Palm Beach, FLA, Reuters, U.S. President Donald Trump said on Saturday that a controversial memo attacking federal law enforcement written by congressional Republicans vindicates him in the investigation of Russian meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Trump a Euro trademark's fervent embrace of the memo raised again the prospect that he may use it as justification to fire special counsel Robert Mueller, who is conducting the investigation, or Deputy Attorney Rod Rosenstein, who oversees Mueller. Tweeting from his resort in Palm Beach, Florida, Trump said the memo a euro et totally vindicatis a euro him but added a euro or eth Russian witch hunt goes on and on. There, sick, was no collusion and there was no obstruction a euro he called the investigation a euro or an American disgrace a euro. The White House told Reuters on Friday there would be no changes at the Justice Department as a result of the memo euro trademark's conclusions. The memo, written by Republicans on the U.S. House of Representatives Intelligence Committee chaired by Devin Nunes, argues the federal investigation of potential collusion between Trump a Euro trademark s 2016 presidential campaign and Russia was a product of political bias against Trump at the Federal Bureau of Investigation and Justice Department. Trump approved the release of the formerly classified memo without redactions, despite objections from the FBI in a move that deepens tension between the White House and senior law enforcement that has existed since Trump first took office. Democrats contend the four-page memo mischaracterizes highly sensitive classified information and was intended to undermine the Mueller criminal probe that was launched in May 2017 as an outgrowth an earlier FBI investigation. Gerald Nadler, the top Democrat on the House Judiciary Committee, said in a statement that Trump a Euro trademark's decision to allow the release of the memo was a Euro a part of a coordinated propaganda effort to discredit, disable, and defeat the Russia investigation a Euro. Some Republicans also were critical of the memo Euro trademark's release. John Kosich, the governor of Ohio and a former rival of Trump a Euro trademark's for the presidential nomination, released a statement on Saturday calling it a Euro OEA disservice to our country a Euro. Asked by reporters on Friday whether the memo made him more likely to fire Rosenstein or whether he had confidence in him, Trump replied, A Euro I you figure it out A Euro. Dismissing Rosenstein or Mueller would trigger a political firestorm much like the sacking of FBI Director James Comey by Trump last year. Mueller also is examining whether Trump has obstructed of justice in trying to thwart the Russia investigation. Questions of Authority the memo alleges the FBI concealed the Democratic ties of a source the agency used to justify surveillance on Carter Page, a former Trump campaign advisor with links to Russia. The memo revealed the names of senior FBI and Justice Department officials, including Rosenstein, who it said had signed off the surveillance. The document was commissioned by Nunes, the Republican chairman of the House Intelligence Panel. He said it laid bare a euro easerious violations of the public trust, and the American people have a right to know when officials in crucial institutions are abusing their authority for political purposes a euro. Mueller a euro trademark's investigation so far has led to guilty pleas by two of Trump a euro trademark's foreign policy advisors to charges of lying to the FBI, and indictments of former campaign manager Paul Manafort and his business partner Rick Gates. On Friday, the Justice Department backed Mueller by dismissing a civil suit filed by Manafort claiming Rosenstein had exceeded his legal authority in giving Mueller a euro a carte blanche a euro. The Republican memo focused on court-approved surveillance of Page and said the FBI used a source who was strongly biased against Trump, former British spy Christopher Steele, to justify the action. It alleged that a dossier of alleged Trump-Russia contacts compiled by Steele, and funded in part by Democrats, formed an a euro or essential part a euro of requests to a special court to be allowed to conduct electronic surveillance on page that began in October 2016. Despite the memo euro trademark s charges, neither the focus on page nor the FBI euro trademark s investigation of Trump Russia ties began with the Steele dossier. Page came to the FBI euro trademark s attention as early as 2013 when he met in New York with Russians who were officers of the Kremlin a Euro trademark's Foreign Intelligence Service, sources have said. 
The memo acknowledges that the FBI counterintelligence investigation began in July 2016, three months before the request for electronic surveillance on page, as a result of the activities of another Trump campaign aide, George Papadopoulos. Steve Bladek, a professor of constitutional law at the University of Texas Austin, said it was unprecedented for the president to feud so publicly with leaders of the U.S. intelligence agencies. A Euro I you do long-term damage to these institutions if you convince a large swath of the American public that they can't a Euro trademark TV trusted a Euro he said.